Hi guys, we've got another giveaway here at Darts now, and this time it's these Peter Wright Darts. All you have to do to win is like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment on all the videos we'll be doing throughout the Grand Slam this week. And we're going to pick a lucky winner from the comment section next week. Good luck. Darren, huge congratulations into the quarterfinals of the Grand Slam Darts. Beating Michael Van Gogh and just sum that one up for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as, a, as a win... Absolute great, no matter how bad or good I play, it doesn't matter. Uh, but in, yeah, obviously Michael didn't turn up. I mean, I, I like to think, well, I didn't probably even turn up either, to be fair. So when the chances arise and I took them, oh, giddy up. I, you're going to take that every day of the week. It's Michael Van Gerwen, you know what I mean? So, yeah, happy days. I'm on, I'm on to the next stage, and who cares? I'll forget about that and move on. Going into the first session, you trailed. But then you found a magical spell of finishing him. And was that the key point in the game? Do you feel and you kept him at arm's length? Yeah, I didn't go off the stage. I, I knew what I had to do. I knew I had to stay up there, get myself more settled. Because I didn't feel settled. Obviously, the first leg, I, I probably looked settled, but I wasn't. Uh, that After that first leg and all that, and everything was felt so jittery and so, yeah, not not great. So I felt I had to stay up there and and just prepare myself for uh, prepare myself for the next uh, set and and be ready for it and, and that's exactly what I did I didn't uh, that's yeah it was in my mind beforehand Michael always had this aura around him on the stage but it's, it's those days long gone now where you guys feel you can get at him yeah I've always felt that myself you always bring your own game when it's MVG don't you? you you only bring your own game because what else you got to rely on? You, you know what he can produce, so uh, that's irrelevant. That's what I feel. And uh, the standard of players these days, they, uh, they yeah, they like to step up and, and beat these guys, and and they love all the, the the attention around it when you do beat him because, yeah, it gets talked about, doesn't it? Oh, Van Gerwen's out. He lost to so and so, who's ranked this and this. And but I like to I like to see myself that you know I, I've beat him few times now you know what I mean whether at a stage or not I, I've done that so there's no reason why I can't keep on doing it and um, I, I just felt tonight I got a, probably a, a little bit lucky to be fair and I just took my chances and, and that's how I felt. Another big moment for yourself as well into the top 10 in the world that's, that's another milestone ticked off for you. Well that was uh, that was the goal at the start of the year wasn't it for myself um, and and like I said if you've got to beat these sort of guys in these big tournaments at whatever stages to get to top 10 you don't beat them you're not going to get there. And I've been that guy for the last couple of years, just plateaued with a great base at the uh, the lower level game. So Pro Tours, Euro Tours, I've been really good. But when it comes to the TV, I haven't been so great. So that's where I know you're not going to get to top 10. You will stalemate at, say, 16 to 12 or something like that. And, and that's what I've done. I've got a great base. But, you know, doing things like this means now I do get to the top 10. Now I can keep going on. So, yeah, it's definitely a massive positive in my game. And... Yeah, I'm just looking forward for the rest of the the rest of the tournament, this tournament, yeah, especially, and uh, I'm just waiting for uh, a massive game that I can bring out, that I know I can bring out. Damon, many congratulations. Cheers. Damon, if we would have told you you were going to average around the 91 mark, I'm sure you would have thought you wouldn't have been walking away oh. with the win. <laughs> yeah, would have buried my head back at home there, don't worry about that. Yeah. But no, look, like I said, darts is a funny game. It, I, I said that out on stage, yeah, go and look at that. That means nothing, averages and all that. It means it's all about the game. You only can play who's in front of you and, and take your chance and all that. So my checkouts weren't too bad, mate. I, you know what I mean? You can give a bit of praise for that. Yeah. <laughs> in terms of how it felt up on stage there, you very much kept him arm's length from, from sort of the halfway stage. Was that in your mind during the game at all? Or? No, I knew going 3 2 down. I, that's where I, I, was, I wasn't settled, uh, and I knew that. So that's why I stayed on stage. And kept throwing my darts, kept my arm rhythm, kept the, started getting a rhythm going, and that's how I felt. And uh, and I always knew for the whole game, just if you ever get a chance, just keep on taking it. Take that chance. Take that chance. Take. And and that's exactly what happened. I just I just believed in what I can do at, at uh, the back end of the game because that's that's literally all that matters. And uh, but yet yeah, yeah you got to get there. We've seen so many times someone take out the leading contender, whether that's Phil Taylor or whether that's Mike Van Gerwen. And crush out in the next round. Is it important for you to stay mentally focused to make sure that doesn't happen? Yeah, hundred percent. I, I knew I didn't play a great game. I knew that, so I know in my next one, it, it's coming. I can feel it coming. Oh, I'm practicing so well. I'm warming up so well, and I know once it starts, it's going to come out there and it's going to happen. So I, I felt like I just got away with a win. That's all. I, I didn't feel 
a massive deal of pressure or anything like that. I just felt like I got away with the win. Now I can look forward and, and push on and, and yeah, just bring out a really great game and I can feel it coming. I really can. Was there almost more pressure on the Bo Greaves game? Uh, yeah, I think it was just the hype. I, I didn't... I, th I think that's all it was. It was the hype, and then you got people telling me and all that. So you try to, you try to, like, you don't want to believe in that. You don't want to step into that, and you just believe. And like I said, I believed in, and I said in many interviews about like I'm number thirteen in the world at the time or whatever it was, and I've got to believe in that and believe in what I do, and I'm not there for no reason, and and things will happen for me. So that's that's all I believed in. Good job, man. Cheers. Then, I mean, you always set yourself realistic aims at the start of the year. You said you wanted to get into the top ten. Now that you've done that, what is the next aim for you? Well, man, I haven't had time to uh, <laughs> reflect. <laughs> so, no, nah, pretty, yeah, pretty happy. But I think that that quarter of uh, say ten or nine or eight, from eight to say fourteen, sixteen, that's that's a tight bunch right there. I think that could fluctuate within all these mega tournaments coming up right now. So that's always going to fluctuate. So actually, just to get there now, yeah, great. I'm absolutely stoked. To be fair. Um, yeah, I'll just take that into my next tournaments and, and uh, I'll reevaluate next season to what my next little goals are. When you are playing Michael and he's not playing at his best, it's sometimes hard to maintain focus, just almost waiting for him to kick into gear. Yeah, it's always in the back of your mind. You know it's probably going to happen. You're like, oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. But, but you know yourself, you go, once he starts, you might start or you will start or and, and you start getting in that uh, frenzy of, of great darts and it happens time and time again you there's not a great deal of times where people are averaging this low and that high it's it's when someone is really high someone's always there with them all the time as well and uh, yeah, yeah like the Lou Humphreys uh, Ryan Searle match the other night oh man he was out of the match Ryan but he wasn't he stayed with him stayed with him next minute he's his average is going up as well because it's two great players and two and, and, it's, and it's a great game so I believe players at that sort of level that were in the top 32 or so to say when when one's playing good the other one will step up and I, and I believe that happens next up the format goes to best of 31 now you played that in Blackpool do you approach that match any differently with being on stage for such a long amount of time no not really you just stick to you you, you stick to your guns don't you you know what you know after four years in the game you you know how to prepare so you prepare like any other game. You, you play Pro Tours. How long are you there for? Like eight or nine hours? So I normally get here about four hours before, and, and I think that's, yeah, plenty enough time. So I think you just treat it like any other game. You have the same warm-up, same prep, and, and that's how you got to treat it. Cheers, Damien. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. Damon, another fun walk on. Your tash is looking fantastic. How did the crowd feel tonight? <laughs> oh, hey, everyone's got a singing voice out there, haven't they? Hey, they loved it, mate. I especially loved it myself, to be fair. <laughs> I only learnt the song only a few months ago as well, so happy days. <laughs> Does that help you get relaxed into the game? Because you say you obviously felt a little bit off sorts at the start, but obviously your walk on, you look so relaxed, you're really confident, I guess, going in, and then it's just down to the game. Yeah, I just enjoy it. it. It makes me go up there not thinking straight away about being so determined, so focused, so it just gets rid of that sort of nerves um, and and just being relaxed yeah 100% and yeah, I, I just enjoy it for the what a minute and a half of what it is and yeah I think the crowd pe the crowd like it the people in the background they they like they stop their practice and what do they tell me you know what I mean so they like yeah for a minute and a half and you and you I always get these haters about but they don't do this don't do that around. man if you don't like it and don't watch for the minute and a half and then put your TV on and watch the darts and if you don't like it that's all and Damon, your, your darts, Harry's darts, really, really nice set of darts. You've got the new ones out. Are they what you're playing with at the moment? No, no, I've just, I've still got my old set. I tried the the, uh, the new set because I was practicing really well with them. Um, but then when I bring them to the main game, it didn't work out as well as I'd like to hope. So I was like, you know what? We're at the big end of the year. This do not change. Stick to what I know. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go next year. Maybe I might pick them up. Time will tell. And your flights look fantastic. They've got a little bit of extra grip on them as well. I, I, I had to go the other day with them. I've, I've never played with anything like them. Really, yeah, really they fun. got a they got a silica coating on them, makes them a, a bit stiffer, a bit stronger, and they fly. I feel like they fly very well through the air. They are not too much straying around with it. And yeah, I really like them. I, uh, I had I used them on other sets, and I said, oh, you know what, I want these on my flights. And uh, and I'm liking the the white and red. I'm I'm really liking it about yourself. But yeah, happy days. Looks fab. Congratulations. Cheers, mate. Appreciate. it. Damon, just how hard is it to get over the, over the line with someone like Michael Rampier? Yeah, it's, it, it's always in the back of your mind. You could be three, four, five in front. <laughs> Michael's got the game to come back. He could rattle 11 dart legs for 
by no tomorrow, you know what I mean? And so for me to just get the job done, even though he could have turned up, it, it was always in the back of my mind, but uh, I, like I said, I just stuck to my guns and got the job done. Yeah, and now you've got to refocus for another big game uh, in a few days. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Obviously, it's two quality players. So whoever comes through that, I know I have to. I'll, I'll have to up my game because uh, it is what it is. I didn't play well tonight, but uh, yeah, I really feel that something's gonna something's gonna click and happen and all that bizzo. And I, I just keep taking my chances, even if it is a scrap of a game. You, you, I, I can do it. I've just shown I can keep doing it. So yeah, happy days.